Hey guys, it's Amber from the Royal Creative Team. This month's theme is nature over on our Facebook monthly challenge. So I'm going to be sharing some cards, one with the Altenew Wild Ferns. You can see that here. I'm going to be creating a palette with greens. So I love bold, bright colors, but nature also provides us some excellent neutrals to use as well. So I'm going to create a background panel and I've started by putting three of the Wild Fern stamps on three separate blocks. I find this is the most efficient way to make a background. And I'm sprinkling on Medellene Kiwi Crush. This is a beautiful green, um, perfect for any of your plants or nature items. I think it's just a really great neutral. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this on. I'll put the remainder back into the container. I'm gonna stamp the next one and I haven't heat embossed that first one yet. Now I'm sprinkling on Lime Ricky, which is one of our Catherine Pooler collaboration colors, and I'm going to heat emboss both of these at the same time. The reason that I would recommend heat embossing one at a time is because when you're tapping on your cardstock to get off the excess, some of the Kiwi Crush could get mixed in with your Lime Ricky. So in order to not contaminate your pots of embossing powder, I would recommend heat embossing one at a time tapping off the excess and then moving on to the next stamp. When creating a background pattern like this, it's best to start in the center and then move your way out from the center. Here I have gold pearl, which is a beautiful gold. It's a little creamier. It's a pearlized texture versus the metallic and it's a lighter gold than what you would get with your pale rich gold. And I think it's absolutely beautiful, especially paired with these greens, but it seems to go with almost any project. So as you're working your way out from the middle, try to keep the same amount of space in between each image for a cohesive look and try to stamp adjacent areas. So you wouldn't, for instance, want to start in the middle and then go directly to one corner because then you may end up leaving an odd space in your pattern. So I'm going to move on to the next background panel and then we'll complete the cards at the end. So here I have the graphic brushstrokes background panel or background stamp from Altenew and I've inked it up with the WOW embossing pad. And this time I'm going to sprinkle on Color Blend Verdigris. This is a gorgeous powder you guys. So this is a color blend. So it has a couple different colors of teal, has some green in there, also little bits of black, and then also some gold metallic in there. And after it's heat embossed and definitely in the close-ups, you're going to see how it shimmers because of the gold powder that's in there. So it's really just a unique color. Um, with the verdigris, it has just a little bit of, or maybe it's copper, maybe it's not gold, maybe it's more like a copper. Um, almost like a patina. So I'm going to start heating this from the back. This powder has a little bit of texture to it, but there isn't any glitter in it per se. And here you can see it start to melt. It is an opaque powder, so you'd be able to use this on colored cardstocks or darker cardstocks as well. There you can start to see that metallic shine as it's melting. And here you can see that as well. Super pretty color. I just love it. To finish off the cards, I'll use Altenew Bold Greetings die set, which has such a fun font. And then I'll also use the Fine Frames Square die set. This has three fine frames in it, and I'm using the largest. When you use the die, it's going to cut the fine frame, and then also this positive piece, the square piece that I have here. I'm going to use that as a template to get my fine frame adhered squarely. So I'm just going to use some temporary adhesive apply the square to the front of my card, and then I'll put glue on the back of my fine frame and fit it around that template. Otherwise, because it's so fine and it bends so easily, you're much more likely to get it adhered kind of wonky on your card. So I do recommend using this positive piece to get everything nice and square. Once I had it adhered with art glitter glue with a precision tip, I'll go ahead and remove the positive piece and it's all set. So I'll use the same glue to adhere the sentiment and I have that stacked with four pieces of 110 pound black cardstock and then I'll just set a block over it until it dries, which is just a few seconds. Here are some close-ups so you can see those gorgeous powders. So that first card was Kiwi Crush, Lime Ricky, and Gold Pearl. 
For the second card, I opted to do the fine frame in dull pink cardstock just to mix things up. And this card was done with color blend, verdigris, embossing powder. I hope you enjoyed these nature themed backgrounds today and will give them a try. It's always great to have a few shades of green embossing powder in your stash for cards like these. Thanks so much for joining me today. Be sure to join us on the challenge on our Facebook page. I'll have a link to that down below. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you haven't already, and I'll see you real soon with more inspiration.